evening prayer on Thursday in the fourth week of Advent. This evening there will only be one uh, scripture reading, which will be the New Testament reading. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of light and darkness. To you be glory and praise for ever. As evening falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. May your word be a lantern to our feet and a light upon our path, that we may behold your coming among us. Strengthen us in our stumbling weakness, and free our tongues to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and for ever. Amen. Verses from Psalm 44 We have heard with our ears, O God, our forebears have told us. All that you did in their days, in time of old, how with your hand you drove out nations and planted us in, and broke the power of peoples and set us free. For not by their own sword did our ancestors take the land, nor did their own arm save them, but your right hand, your arm, and the light of your countenance. Because you were gracious to them, you are my King and my God, who commanded salvation for Jacob, through you we drove back our adversaries. Through your name we trod down our foes, for I did not trust in my bow. It was not my own sword that saved me. It was you that saved us from our enemies and put our adversaries to shame. We gloried in God all the day long and were ever praising your name. But now you have rejected us and brought us to shame and go not out with our armies. You have made us turn our backs on our enemies, and our enemies have despoiled us. You have made us like sheep to be slaughtered, and scattered us among the nations. You have sold your people for a pittance, and made no profit on their sale. You have made us the taunt of our neighbours, the scorn and derision of those that are round about us. You have made us a byword among the nations. Among the peoples they wag their heads. My confusion is daily before me, and shame has covered my face, as the taunts of the slanderer and reviler. At the sight of the enemy and avenger, all this has come upon us, though we have not forgotten you, and have not played false to your covenant. Our hearts have not turned back nor our steps gone out of your way. You have crushed us in the haunt of jackals and covered us with the shadow of death if we have forgotten the name of our God or stretched out our hands to any strange God. Will not God search it out? For he knows the secrets of our heart, but for your sake we are killed all the day long and are counted as sheep for the slaughterer. Rise up. Why sleep, O Lord? Awake, and do not reject us for ever. Why do you hide your face? And forget our grief and oppression. Our soul is bowed down to the dust. Our belly cleaves to the earth. Rise up, O Lord, to help us. And redeem us for the sake of your steadfast love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Canticle Song of the Spirit 
surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Behold, I am coming soon, says the Lord, and bringing my reward with me, to give to everyone according to their deeds. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who do God's commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life, and may enter into the city through the gates. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to you. With this testimony for all the churches, I am the root and the offspring of David. I am the bright morning star. Come, say the Spirit and the Bride. Come, let each hero reply. Come forward, you who are thirsty. Let those who desire take the water of life as a gift. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. Surely I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. The Gospel of Matthew, 17th chapter, beginning at the 22nd verse. As they were gathering in Galilee, Jesus said to them, The Son of Man is going to be betrayed into human hands, and they will kill him, and on the third day he will be raised. And they were greatly distressed. When they reached Capernaum, the collectors of the temple tax came to Peter and said, Does your teacher not pay the temple tax? He said, Yes, he does. And when he came home, Jesus spoke of it first, asking, What do you think, Simon? From whom do kings of the earth take toll or tribute? From their children or from others? When Peter said, From others, Jesus said to him, Then the children are free. However, so that we do not give offence to them, go to the lake and cast a hook. Take the first fish that comes up, and when you open its mouth you will find a coin. Take that and give it to them, for you and me. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord, in your word is my hope. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord, in your word is my hope. There is forgiveness with you, so that you shall be feared. In your word is my hope. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My soul is waiting for you, O Lord, in your word is my hope. O wisdom coming forth from the mouth of the Most High, reaching from one end to the other mightily, and sweetly ordering all things, come and teach us the way of prudence. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him, from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children for ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. O wisdom coming forth from the mouth of the Most High, reaching from one end to the other mightily, and sweetly ordering all things, come, and teach us the way of prudence. As darkness falls, we give thanks for all that has been this day. We pray for the opportunity for rest and for recreation in the coming night.
O Lord Jesus Christ, who at your first coming sent your messenger to prepare your way before you. Grant that the ministers and stewards of your mysteries may likewise so prepare and make ready your way by turning the hearts of the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, that at your second coming to judge the world we may be found an acceptable people in your sight. For you are alive and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Awaiting his coming in glory, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. A reminder that Compline will be live streamed at 9pm this evening.